Hey Dan. Welcome buddy. Welcome everyone else to the stream. Um, you kind of have to bear with me, I'm not doing face cam today because I have a steering wheel and I'm just getting used to the steering wheel, which is interesting. So you may hear some weird noises, it's just the steering wheel. Uh, Dean, I'm pretty good, it's pretty hot, but I'm, I'm pretty excited to use the steering wheel for the first kind of major time. How are you, Dean? The new setup looks cool. Yeah. Um, you're fine. That's good. Oh, God. Might be easier to just use the keyboard for a second. Oh. Well, that's why I won't go on. Got a weight on the front. Have you been up near my house, Jeremy? Um, you can hear like the wind. It's got like those windmills, the wood ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I noticed, Dean. Congratulations. Oh, that was a lag spike. Jeepers. Straight into the fence. That was interesting. Not what we wanted. All good. I don't worry, I was wondering why I was hearing you twice, and then realised I didn't have the stream muted. <laughs> oh, that would have been amazing. Yeah, I'd hear you, and then about 10 seconds later I'd hear you say the exact same thing again. It's like, what? Yeah. I, I have thought about putting myself on push to mute because I don't feel like, I don't know. It would get annoying hearing me all the time. Gross. What do you mean, push to mute? So that you don't hear me, or push to talk, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it push to mute. No, it's push to talk and there's push to mute. mute. Oh, well, same thing in one, my opinion. You hold the button down. One, you hold the button down to talk. Two, the, you hold the button down to mute. Yeah, I have my... Oh, in Discord, I've got the N key set up as a push to mute so that when I'm talking in CLRP yeah. in game, it doesn't talk in Discord as well. Yeah, I have the same. I have a push to mute. Um, trying to decide what I want to plant. We'll just go over. Seeds. Well, no shot, Sherlock. I 
I'm hiring a worker for this bit because I need to go and get rid of a lot of that equipment from the um shop. Oh god, that was some lag. Old mate should be good with that, hopefully. Uh, don't know what we're going to drive. Oh, disregard. It looks like my help is already freaking blocked. Does that message pop up for everyone? Nope. Okay. Nope. Only people on your farm. It's just making sure. Because he gets blocked pretty often. Because he's a bit of an idiot. <clears throat> oh, shit, shit. Stop, stop, stop. Guess we'll go and see what's wrong with old mate up here. Need to buy a chainsaw. I want to cut some of these hedges off the um fences. Hey, Sark. Welcome to the stream, buddy. It's actually quite cool that you can cut down the hedges and fences. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm kind of keen to start doing a little bit of that. Some of the hedges are fine, but there's just some of it I just want to go on. It's a little bit too much hedge. What's going on here? problem. Do you mean you have a major problem? Yep. Yeah, what is it you rolled? No. Where I've got my steering wheel set up, I can no longer reach out and grab my chocolate. It's too far away. Oh, that is a major problem. I told you. That is, that is a really bad problem. I think that hired a worker, it's not what I not what I had intended, but anyway. Stuck at work, oh that sucks. Yes. You can turn the lights on and off without the engine running. Oh finally. Oh you can? Good. That was something that drove me insane. Oh it drove me insane too. I mean, some tractors IRL you can't, you have to actually turn it, um, it on, or, on or off, but um, some you can. Some tractors IRL, if you leave them on and you turn it off, they just turn off automatically as well. Just trying to get used to the steering wheel. Oh, I'm guessing my winch never got for long. You what? Uh, the TDK80. Alright, let's see how he goes with that. Hopefully he can, I don't know, do his job that I'm paying him to do. Would be good. Where'd search go? Who? You just be able to search in the shop. 
Uh, what? So I'm typing out the search there. function. Oh, God. I didn't know there was a search option. I've never searched anything. Uh, what wheel am I using? No clue. Farming simulator wheel. It's got a weird name. SciTech or something. It's a Logitech slash SciTech. Yeah, that's it. Heavy equipment wheel and control box. This is why we brought Vash, because he knows what he's talking about. I don't. Oh, yeah. You can drop the SciTech now, but really, because Logitech owns SciTech now. Okay, so it's a, it's a Logitech farming simulator wheel. We'll go with that. Yep. He's blocked again. Okay. No, you know what, dude? You're an idiot. You are a literal moron. Uh, I'm enjoying the wheel psych. I'm just... These AI are just driving me insane. It'd be nice if they would just do the job that I'm paying him to do. The paddock couldn't get any straighter. Driving is smoother with it, I agree. We'll see if he can work his way this way. I'm not sure why he keeps just driving into the hedge. He'll probably drive into that fence behind him. He'll probably just do what he did last time and end up over near the windmill. <laughs> You do know that wasn't him. I'm fully aware that it was you. Oh my god, he got it. He can turn that way. He gets that right, but he can't go the other way. Dude, you're a fucking idiot. You're a literal moron. It would appear. At this stage, I'm thinking your mum should have dropped you on your head. Jesus. Well. Only AI could be this dumb. I don't know, that GTA AI is. <laughs> yeah, that's something. I don't know, does any AI match to, to that standard? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know with that one. You'd hope the AI they put in self-driving cars was a bit better. <laughs> I don't know, didn't you hear what happened to the Google self-drives over here? No. They ruined themselves, basically. I didn't hear anything about it. They couldn't detect our native wildlife. Oh. Huh. And yeah, they brought four over. None of them went back undamaged. Two of them went written off. <laughs> Not so smart when a kangaroo's jumping at them. Yeah. I just thought it was funny that, yeah, they couldn't recognise the, kang the kangaroos and that, so they just plough into them. <laughs> I was like, surely they should have detected that there was at least something in the road. You'd hope so. Well, being a smart guy, ruse. it probably should have. But then you got the ruse that sit on the side of the road and then wait till you just about with them before they jump on. Oh yeah, they do that, and what like pretty much every bit of wildlife is like that. Yeah. All right. Last time I hit a roo, I say the roo hit me because that's what it did. I slowed down. He jumped up, jumped alongside the car, and then jumped in my front quarter pipe. Yeah, I was going to work the other day, and I actually took my territory instead of the ute, and um, I got past this kangaroo. He then decided he'd just jump into the back of the car as I was going past, so he knocked the back bumper off my car. Yeah, they do that. It's like, how dumb can you be, dude? I had a friend with a Hilux ute, and one jumped in between 
uh, Hilux tray back. He drunk in between the tray and the cab. Yep. <laughs> They're just idiots. Maybe I did need to reset the dead zones. I don't know. Mine seem okay. Um, I didn't go in. I'm not as inexperienced. As, oh god, that was some lag. Jesus, and we're onto the crop. But if you need to reset, if the if the dead zone has been reset, you'll be able to move your steering wheel around about a quarter of a turn before the tractor wheels move. Yeah, I can do it about a quarter turn. Does that mean it's good? No, that means it's no, bad. No, that means it's uh, bad. Well, I'm going to reset then really quick. Yeah, it should be as soon as you move the wheels, your steering wheel, the wheels move. No, i got to turn it quite a fair bit. Yeah, it's on 14%. I didn't think it was turning how it was yesterday. Turns out it wasn't. Fentor Challenger. All right, we're coming back in. All right, let's go green. When Tom finished sinking. My apologies. Well, I'm GPS buying a green tractor. Good. Should be over now anyway. But it's not a John D. Oh god, don't tell me it's a Deutz. Oh god. No, no, it's a Bent. Oh, okay. Oh, my worker's actually got his shit together, I think. Look at that chat. I'm literally astonished at this point that he knows what he's doing. Hang on, if you've got a, a dedicated server and you set a worker and leave, does the worker keep going? Uh, if someone's on the server, he does, but if everyone gets off, he'll stop it, doesn't it? I'm pretty no, sure. Not yet. Yeah, I think if there's people still on the server, it'll keep working. Yeah, you can set it though so that stuff keeps going while no one's on, though. Mm. I'd rather just come back there and it'd be the same as how I left it. Yeah, now it turns That's as safe. I turn the steering wheel, so just a tiny smidge turns it now, which is good. Mm hmm. That's what you want. Now I don't feel like I'm driving a Mack truck. Shuttle control seems to have stopped working. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, I've got it set to forwards, but when I slam the brakes on, it starts going in reverse again. Hmm. Uh, you got GPS on? Yep. It disables shuttle. Ah. As soon as you, as soon as you hit Alt X, you get shuttle control back. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. I wonder why it didn't look as green as it used to be. <laughs> yeah. You can still change it so that if you want to use shuttle control, you can. You just click it to make sure that when you stop, you let go of the pedal. Yeah. 
All right. Which way are you going to expand, Jeremy? Um. I own as much land as I'm going to own. Well, I was thinking about coming out. Whereabouts? I'm about to buy a harvester and I'm going to turn, turn all the fields I've got now into poplar. So oh, yeah. I want some fields for actual other crops. Okay. Um, I guess we need to still leave some for Brandon as well. Yeah. Well, um, I had last a... I knew he had all down, he had it, the corner down to 40. The corner down to 40. Oh, the top corner? Yep, the top corner. Okay. Well, I might go along the bottom like this. Um, just leave uh, like two or three paddocks. I'm going to have a just a diff another farm pretty much for random people who join like Connor. Yep. But they only need like two or three paddocks. They don't need a heap. This is going to be like a tiny ass farm. Alright, so you want an open area for your farm? For that farm? Nope. Alright, yeah then. Just whatever you guys leave, I'll just turn into that farm. I'll let Brandon choose whatever he needs as well first. It's nice being able to like gently like choose what throttle you want and you know how fast you want to go and stuff too with the pedal yeah rather than all out or nothing yeah pretty much um tom yep if you want you can use 52 53 54 for the random farm because i will, i won't use those ones and they're basically down in the very bottom corner okay yeah no that'll so work you can, you can have that for the random farm yeah. All right then, that sounds good. No, I just thought that way if we have like Twitch subs or Connor or someone who gets on, that can be just their little farm. Because mm -hmm. I'll make this the streaming and recording, well, the streaming farm and then the Marl Manor farm can be the one where we just get on to play with each other on the same farm. Yeah. Um... Might as well take the cultivator with me this time. So I might wait. I might. Are you going any further west? Are you talking to me? No, nah, Jeremy. No, I'm not going to buy anything else. Yeah, I've got all the land I want. I don't want any more. I'm trying to decide whether I want to buy more or not. You could just leave some. That way we would have yeah, land thinking. available for contracting if we want to do that as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or you can choose later on down the road if you want the paddocks or not. Hmm. I might buy 12 and 16, so it's more. Oh, shit. I'm coming in shot on an angle. What, I thought. I've just noticed the. Oh, actually, it's not a problem after all because you can cut the hedges down. Yeah, what though? Well, I was planning to join like 55 and 56 and 7 and 8 into one huge paddock. Yeah, well, I forgot to... The paddock that I've got that worker currently in at the moment, I was actually going to plough that into one paddock and I completely forgot. I'll just do that after I've harvested it the next time. Going too fast. Um, oh. I'm done for now. That way too, there's connection onto Brandon's if he wants to expand a bit further as well. Yeah. 
There's like a little horse arena there. Oh, that's another thing I like about the map. On the outside of the map, there's actually tracks for the horses to run and stuff. Mm. I've still got to get a horse yard. Well, apparently I didn't buy that tractor. What tractor are you buying? Uh, Vent 1100 MT. Is that like a large tractor? Yeah. Oh, is that the crawler track one? Yep. Oh, yep. Ugh, I've got a lot of hedges to cut down. She why I'm parked here. How do I cut down a hedge? I've got to buy a chainsaw first. Yeah, that would help. Mm-hmm. You would think so. Why did my tractor just turn off automatically? Is E to turn it off or something? Inter is to turn it off. Yeah, well every time I get out of it, it just turns off. That's odd. No, uh, what have you got your settings on? Is there any reason why he walks backwards all the time? Yeah, that's to do with your dead zone. So there's one of your axes is controlling backwards and forwards and it's slightly off center. Um, so, what am I looking for? The E. Uh, what are you trying to fix? The, no, why the tractor keeps turning off when I get out of it. No, uh, go to the screen settings. The picture of the monitor with the cog. Yeah, well, it's already on end. Like you have to start the engine. Yeah, but it jumping on and off automatically is a game setting, not a key binding. Oh, okay. Uh, you might be need to be logged in as a uh, admin. Oh, forgot. You shouldn't have to. No, I do. I think I do. No, nope, maybe not. I was going to say I wasn't having that issue. When you get out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, get to the tractor with the cog. Yeah, I'm already in it. Oh, automatic engine starts off, but it's on. That's on. I'll save that, I guess. Don't know why that was off. Automatic engine start, it should be off. That means it won't oh, turn yeah, that's on right. or off when you jump out. So it was set up properly. Nope, now it's didn't turn off that time. Was Oops. it Don't know. on or off? Oh no, you turned it off and then... Yeah, I'm watching the stream. Hm. Yeah, it's working now. Um, Fuck the guy, no. Okay, so yeah, yeah see how he's had... walking backwards like this? Yeah, that's a... Um, dead zone. Is that in the, the settings or do I have to log out again? No, you got to log out. Yeah, well, I'll just keep Usually you in. want a small dead zone on... All your accesses, except for your steering access, which is... I have them all on zero. Yeah. yeah. So you probably want about five on the rest, other than access one. So, Jeremy, how am I cutting down the hedge? Grab the chainsaw out, walk up to it, and just hold down the cut button and move the chainsaw around until it sort of grabs onto part of the hedge, and then it'll cut the hedge down for you. Right. Do I have to be crouched? No. Okay. Well, it's a tough bloody hedge then. It takes a bit to get it in the right place. Button would have bit me if I wasn't on the 
No, nope, that's chopping down the friggin' post that I don't want. That doesn't look like a hedge button. Oh, I give up, don't I? Moving on. Up pretty quickly. Well, I haven't got time for stupid crap like that. Got stuff at the farmyard to pick up. I am liking the addition of this place anywhere mod. Yep. Same. Look at those bullshit restrictions on where you can put stuff. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. You have to cut the post. No, not to cut the hedge. Oh, I think you actually do. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't remember. I haven't cut down a hedge for a... Yeah, well, I'm just going to leave it for now. Because there's no fencing mod, so it kind of makes me nervous. Well, we've got the timber fences. Yeah, but they don't look as... as fabulous. And my guy just keeps walking backwards like a lunatic, so... Like he's got something wrong with him. He probably does, to be honest, but... Yeah, probably. I will need to fast forward time eventually to get some of these crops. Um, actually, I can do some fertilizer instead of worry. You can have a summer one if you want. <laughs> no, I need some grass growing. It's all just dirt at the moment. Nice dry. You can mow my forest. Twenty-six meters. We don't really need one that throws it that far because this will literally do the paddock in one swoop. Well, I'm glad old mate up here finally decided he knew how to sew the paddock. It only took him mm -hmm. 10 minutes. It's looking like he's almost done. Thanks for the follow, buddy. You're welcome. Of course, one of my fields is potatoes. <laughs> I actually plan on doing some potatoes on this um, map because the paddocks aren't huge. Well, 21 potatoes. Yeah, I don't plan on doing them now, Vash. In the future. I don't plan on doing them now. Do you plan on doing them in the future? Depends. I may plan on just sewing them in. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. Oh, you brought an old harvester. Yep. Well, buying, like, all my forestry equipment at near half a million dollars a piece. Oh, so you've got not much money left? No, oh, we've got about 500,000 left. Well, the, whatever, the honey farm or whatever it's called is still handing out loans if you ever need any. Plus... I haven't got a whole lot of fields oh, anyway, so... 
And I've still got to buy forestry stuff. I still need a tree planter and that. Yeah. Kind of thinking I might want to do poplars as well. Oh yeah, and for poplars I need a forage harvester as well. I was planning just to do them so I could use the wood baler. Um, yeah, well that can't... Yeah, nearly five day days day. and the DLC will be here. Plus, I never usually do a lot of forestry, so... I've got a chance to do a fair bit of forestry, so I'm going to take it. I'm a forestry hater. I don't mind doing it. Planting forestry just takes way too long. Oh, those poplars, yeah, that's horrendous. Well, you use the same machine to actually plant trees. Yeah. As well. That just takes forever. This fertilizer spreader looks huge compared to my tractor from the behind. It probably is. I actually got a shot the other day. When I went away, I parked across the road from a bread off dealer. A what? And just seen how a bread off dealer. And seeing just how big the fertilizer spreaders say do are, uh, I was like, oh, I knew that would be big, but I didn't think that I would that quite that big. <laughs> it always looks so much bigger in real life, doesn't it? Some things. Well, well the dealership was a single story building, and the big one, um, it would have been the big one in here. Would have been the K165 was taller than the actual dealership building. Jesus. So I'm, I'm an idiot. I parked in my truck. You parked in your truck? Yeah. I parked it in between two other vehicles. Oh. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. <laughs> At least you didn't park it in, then I would be stuck. But one of the only ways you can troll in here is park your vehicles around someone else's. Yeah. But then when you log in on admin, you can just change funds and move them, so... It looks like old mate finally finished the paddock. Oh, good for him. <laughs> it, it only took him how long to figure out what he was doing. But we're stoked he figured it out and got his life together. I'm quite proud of him at this point. Just because it took him so long. Yeah. Huh. I did not know I owned this paddock. You didn't know you owned it. Which I can't even see you in the map. Oh, I'm in, um, 
replaceable placing mode. Okay. I'm, not, I'm looking at paddock 15. That's, that's why I don't see so yeah. Oh, yeah. At paddock 15. Mm -hmm. right. I think it came with my farmyard actually. Yeah, probably did. Right. And I bought the one right next to it. Yeah, I'm just going to fence off this gateway and build a new one that's actually on my land. Bash wanted to be your neighbour. I was just making mine come down on an angle. That was more aesthetically pleasing. Oh, I see you've got a lovely great big paddock of cotton to deal with. Yeah. I thought you were talking to me for a out. second then. I was about to say, I got no cotton. Screw that. Cotton okay. is definitely getting a plough. Yep. Run through it. Mm -hmm. As much as I don't mind harvesting it, the equipment, I've, the equipment's just way too much to hire. And oh, I'm it, it is, isn't it? It's just crazy. Okay, yeah, well, it's a half a million of machine, but every single machine I've got on my farm is half a million, and they still don't cost that much to hire. Gonna plant some soybean because it's selling for nineteen hundred dollars on at the moment. Oh yeah. So might as well get in on that action. So we've got that fence top. I keep forgetting I can use the side panel to lower the equipment and I keep reaching over to the keyboard. Instead of the ridiculous green hologram, it actually showed you the fucking thing you were placing. The modded one that comes with the actual game, this map. Yeah. Well, I like the detail they went in with the dairy because it has a robotic dairy for one cow, but it also has the lelly um, circle things that actually the cows can walk up to and scratch their backs and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. But does it have salt leaks? Does, yeah. does it have what? Salt leaks. No. That was weird as fuck. What was? I just placed my horse pin and like literally exactly at the same time I pressed A to place it I got a Discord notification. Yeah. 
I got a lag spark when you did it, so. To be honest, it's not all that laggy, really. I only get a, a lag spike every now and again. I think it's because I'm also streaming as well, though. Yeah, caught up the way. Oh, that's right. The bloody... They've made it so that now when you put down the grass texture, it actually plants grass. Yeah, they did too. So we can take out that placeable grass mod. Oh, okay. So the random idiots farm is over in the corner there, so that's good. The random idiots farm. Yep. Oh, hey, Vash, do you have a stump grinder? Mm, I do. Oh, hey, Tom, are you interested in some work? Actually, I'm going to get back to you because I I did see one down at my farm, but I don't know if it's like just like a map object or if it actually do own it. Okay. No, there's one actually here. Will you hook up to it? Pretty sure it's a leased item. Yeah, it's a leased item. There's another least item here when I started on this map as well. It was a um a fork lift. Oh. And I was kind of like, I don't need that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. But if you want to borrow it, you can come and borrow it. Mm. Okay, I can confirm you definitely have to cut the actual post to get rid of the hitch. Okay. Good to know. I would come and do your tree stumping for you, but I'm currently selling a paddock. That's alright. <laughs> well, that's where you can't run with a chainsaw. It's too dangerous, Jeremy. Too dangerous. What if I have those special neck thingies on? I must have clicked the button to hire a worker accidentally. I have a slump grinder now. Because I needed one, and also needed a wood chipper. Oh, yeah. And I was already in the store buying a trailer, chipper trailer, so I thought, well, I'll just buy one while I'm there. I mustn't have the, to turn the actual implement on my side panel. I might have to do that after. So that's a bit of an issue. Oh, that's a shame, this map only has the base game textures in it. Still a nice map. Yeah, I know. Oh, Jesus. What are you jesus -ing? Oh, just the... When you're in the terrain editing mode and you get like anywhere near the edge of the screen, it just fucking sends you flying. Yeah. So, way too fast. 
I apparently bought the actual My Well Farm plot. What do you mean? Oh, the Mercury Farm. Uh, the Mercury Farm plot, yeah. Right, yeah. I think there were buildings there when they started. Yeah, there was. I sold them all. Just like my house is up at the um, the chicken farm part of the map. That's right, because I'll use here that bit for all my farming equipment. And then I've got another little area I can put all the log over near all the forestry area. I want to eventually get around to putting down buildings. Oh, I like that sun shining off the um the tractor there. Something they did get right with this game. Yeah, it's a lot better with PBR and actual direct light direct traction lights. Rather than the light only coming from run one direction. Yeah, that was just lazy and stupid. I would like to them for them to incorporate like how cattle and crops though have the you know, you drive in a paddock and it sort of uh, yeah. can tear in, like um, you can get bogged sort of thing as well. Yeah, um grand deformation. Yeah. They said they were looking into it. That's all they've said. It does look good, Dan, I agree. Yeah, with ground deformation, they haven't ruled it out, but they haven't said that it's coming. Yeah. It would be nice if it did. It would be. Everybody was hoping, you know, and then they done all the press conference. And you can clearly see it was the same. Oh, you're thing. kidding. What? I reckon when I was playing around with the control panel, I put it onto a different seed. Oh, yes, you put it into onto a fertilised crop. Fuck. You put it on radish. Oh, Jesus. Now you've got to cultivate that to get rid of the radish. <laughs> oh, fuck. Which button did that? That one. Bugger. Feckety, feckety, feck. Oh, well, looks like we're taking the new Holland. <laughs> Is that John Deere's more my seeding tractor? I forgot about checking that. Well, I just didn't think it would be on the side panel, to be honest, to change seed. Pretty much everything should be on there. On where? The side panel. It pretty much is everything on there. That's what's annoying about it. Yeah. 
It'll probably be button combinations and straight button push. That all is good. At least I realised before I did the whole entire paddock. Yeah. Hang on, you said I had to chop the actual post? Mm -hmm. That was funny. I'm the one doing logging, but I don't have a chance. <laughs> oh, it only leaves the post there though, it doesn't actually put a fence. I see. What do you mean? Well, I thought when you took away the hedge that the, um, there was going to be a fence there. Nope. Yeah. There's no fence. Yeah. Well, mistakes were made. Guess it can be a gateway. Yeah, my tractor turned off again that time. And again, I don't know why it's doing that. Weird. Well, since I'm at the shop, I better pick up a chainsaw, right? Eh? could say it's not fair. Over the last few days I've got some rain. Now I've got a, now the lawn's green, so it means, means I've got a mow soon. We got a little bit of rain today as well, which was good. Oh, we didn't need the rain. I'm not complaining about the rain. But I am complaining about now I've got a mow. I've moved once this whole summer because it's been so dry, not even Tassie can grow. this now. See you Dean. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, this is just uh what? Now before I park this sump grinder, does anyone <coughs> want to make use of it? No, I have my own. No, I'm right for now. Alright. That edge right there should be enough.
I almost would like to buy something that I can't do there. The field service trailer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one important bit of my farm right there. It's the good old service trailer. Yep, so I'll have to buy it and a vehicle for it. <laughs> Most of that crop. Okay, well, this wood chipper doesn't take, doesn't like to be pulled fast. Mm. Either that or a lag. Every now and again. I'm doing a stop in the track to track. A little bit over here in the corner. Alright, we got it all.
I guess we retry. At least you weren't harvesting a field I harvested one day from Alex. It was Alex and someone else on the farm, and they were seeding a field. One of them was seeding one crop, and the other one was seeding a different crop. Mm. Oh. And they were going, skipping lines. Oh. And Line jumping. Yeah, yeah, and one going up the other, like the one that they missed. Yeah. Yeah. So you get one run, one run, that would mm. be one crop. But the next one down the field would be a different crop. Yeah. That was a pain to harvest, and I pretty much did it on my own. I don't know if I even would have harvested it. Uh, we needed the money on the farm at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Did you end up using a small harvester? Because I would have imagined it would have kept saying error or something. Nope. So it was a modern John Deere with a 55. I ended up using two harvesters. Yeah. But, um, I can't remember if they were the John Deere's or the class, but they were both 40, 40 45 foot cutting cutters on it. So what I'd done do is work out the difference between the two crops where they were. run the har one harvester down to harvest one crop then run the other harvester down to harvest the next row and just kept on doing that yeah it was a pain and it took ages I could imagine and next time I Alex I played with that because that was on a stream I went. That was the next time I played. I went, yeah. Make sure you see the right seed. If somebody does that again, I said, if somebody does that again, they're harvesting it. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't have been much fun. It took me all day to harvest. So yeah, it wasn't too much fun. Luckily, this field wasn't all that big, so you could run the harvester down and run back to the next, back to the other harvester and drive it down, and then jump out of that one and the next, the other one back, because tabbing was disabled, teleporting to vehicles was disabled. Oh Christ! So you had to run from one end of the field to the other. Why is it not lowering it? There we go. Ah. One thing you have to be careful of with the place anywhere mod is it lets you place things in places that don't quite work out too well. <laughs> yep, you can actually place buildings within the other buildings. I've now got trees growing out of my manure pit. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I wonder if I can get rid of them. I'm kind of regretting this tiny ass sewing machine I have at the moment because I've got to redo a bit of this paddock. I think they just made uh, Honestly, trees. that one's not too bad if you put the harrow before it, the power harrow in front of it. So you can cultivate and sell at the same time. But yeah, just for seeding, yeah, it's a bit. I only brought it because it's small, the farm is kind of small in terms of paddocks, so. I mean, realistically, it doesn't take that long. No. See, I on my farm we've only got one paddock at the moment, and it's twice the size, and we're using that sower. Yeah. But we're also running the harrow in front of it, so 
at least you don't have to go and cultivate and then come back and seed it. I'm only using this stuff because I always use the bigger, not big, big stuff, but I always use stuff that's bigger than this. So I was like, huh, the map's more doable for small stuff, so I was like, I'll give it a go. Well, I didn't mind buying that combine that I did buy because my map's really, the fields that I do have aren't really that big. No, everything's pretty decently sized. Yeah. Because I usually like to grab the ideal combine because I just like the way it looks. <laughs> but yeah, that's a bit of, of overkill on these fields. Yeah, it's why I've only got the biggest tractor I have is 300 horsepower. Don't really need anything any bigger. Well, I'm going to tract for the forestry, so... Yeah. No, but for what I'm yeah. doing, I don't really need one any bigger yeah. than what I have. But yeah, that's the only reason I bought that one. That, that big and it's like almost 700 horsepower. But it's simply for the forestry because it's got to go up some fairly decent hills. server's running pretty smooth at the moment, I think. It is, and I've been buying stuff for the whole time we've been on, so... Jeremy hasn't complained yet. Mm. I've had a couple of small lag spikes, but nothing really major. I've had a couple of big ones, but it's only been when my ping, ping has jumped up, and it's probably because... <clears throat> I'm streaming and everyone's on the internet anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> I did have one large one, but it wasn't really anything that caused any issues anyway. Yeah. I just had a tiny bit of lag then. Yeah, I put down a pick pin. Some pigs. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm putting down grass texture, but it's not actually planting grass like they said it would. What is it? Just leaving as like the mode sort of grass? Yeah. Maybe it's going to grow. In their patch notes, they said that it puts down stage one grass. Which you should be able to see. Then I didn't really look at it. I just was like, oh, new new update. Boom. Yeah, I'm just driving around my place, working out there how many hedgerows I've got to take out. How many what? Hedgerows. I need to maximise my forestry, and plus I need to get from one between one field and the other with the big equipment. And I don't really want to take it on the road. Yeah, lucky for the honey farm, everyone's got some access to a bit of money to begin with. Which is nice. Yeah, there's, there's no way I could have done the, really any. She doesn't even require equipment. you to pay Anything. back it either. Like, it's very, very good loans. You don't even have to pay them back. She just gives away free money. It's 
extremely good lines. We'll give the shit farm like 50 grand to spend and... It's a shit farm. <laughs> I'll let him start mm. off with it. You know that real basic old trader that like tops out at 25 k's per hour? Yeah. I'll even buy him one of them for him. Sounds like a good idea. Hey, that little old fence actually got a decent bit of power on it. I like that fence. I just don't like where the front end loader arms sit on it. Oh yeah. I've got well, you used to have one of them when I was a kid. Two paddocks of sugar beet. <coughs> Is it ready to harvest? You have a sugar beet harvester, don't you, Jeremy? I do. Yep, what it is. What paddocks are they? 12 and 22. 12. Oh, yeah. Jeremy's 12. like, I can make some money here. Where is 22? I'm 22. Oh, right next to me. <laughs> That's quite big. Oh, wow. Well, we've got yeah. an interesting out there. We've got an interesting Just beside 22 where all your forestry stuff is. Oh yeah. I like that then. That's going to be my forestry HQ. Well, I could definitely do 22 for you if you like. Dan, I'm really happy with 19. I don't know if I would say it's amazing mm -hmm. though, but they definitely fixed a lot oh. of other issues that have been in the previous ones. ones. Mm, 12 is a bit of a prick of a shape, but I'll... Um, Still a little bit of improvement needs to happen. Yeah, I can't fight that. I'll come over and do the... Sugar boots now. Yeah, see that field's going to get... turned into... top one. Every now and again the side panel cuts out and won't lower the implement. Why is that? Ah, I don't know. Me either. There we go. Is USB overloading, is maybe? Having a moment, I guess. Yeah, it could be, I guess. Yeah, so I... I'll probably be jumping off here in the next 20 minutes. Luckily that no longer means the end of the server. Nope. Uh, on the front of the roof, uh, that it's the GPS. Oh, speaking of GPS, I forgot to put GPS on my sugar beet harvester. That's what that is, Dean. So if you see a John Deere with a yellow satellite on the front like that, it normally means it has GPS. Oops, that's close. Oh, we've got buy areas for stray whore. Straw. I have cunt English at my moment, apparently. It sound like you just said cunt English. <laughs> can't. <laughs> can't. We've got straw, hay, and... Silage. That's another thing Five I get really up. nervous about when I stream with Alex or get on his farm is swearing. Good thing I have bush to talk. <laughs> Hello. Straw, hay, grass. Five points. Oh, I'm about to see a big yellow machine heading towards my farm. Yep, heading straight past your farm. I just have to pick something up from the shop. 
Yeah, GPS. Yep. Why don't you use the workshop? Because I'm already halfway to the shop. Uh, I've got a trailer back at my um, forestry there for that as well. Can't get them to work. I tried using Tom's workshops or field service trailer and none of them worked for my equipment, even with contractor mode. Okay. Yeah, so we think you have to own your own one is, I think, what was going on. Ooh, I like that. Seems. I like this little rock that I own. You own a little rock? Well, it's not so little, but it's, it's the... And it's got huge chunks of gold in it. Oh. I guess you'll be retiring early then. Okay, I walked up to it and they disappeared. Oh, your shite is blocking the service entry point at the shop, Tom. Yeah, well, not much I can do about that at the moment. I would have gone and kept picking her up, but, you know, stupid workers and then the seeding malfunction that occurred on the farm, lost me thousands of dollars in money and mm -hmm. can't even afford to pay a worker anymore and Has the honey farm cut you off? Oh. If you can't afford to pay a worker. Oh no, the honey farm only offers you like one loan and then once you're done, you're done. Unless you make a very good case to her. She's an old bat that lives up there on the hill. She has her binoculars and she watches everybody. She's probably watching you. Creepy. Yeah, she's a creepy old lady. She's in her 80s or 90s. She's got nothing better to do. She sold her farm. She just has her house now and a lot of money. if I trust the water in the lake up here. <laughs> Why is that? Looks like the water's coming out from the treatment plant. Oh. <laughs> Feed that to your cattle. May not be. It may, might be just getting pumping from somewhere else. Edges of my land is Why does somebody else need a loan from the honey farm? No. I just need to work out where my edges are. I have eight hundred thousand dollars left, yeah. but um I've got three hundred and sixty. I need it for cows and I'm saving up for the new DLC when it comes out as well. I think it was Jeremy said though the DLC is going to be kind of affordable though. The sausage silage wrapper is. Yeah. Guess we'll see about the other stuff. Yeah, the one I've seen is only. which was the sausage silo wrapper. 20 or 30 gram, wasn't it? 30, yeah. Yeah. 30 grams. Not too I'm bad at all. There's a park down here. A what? A park with a playground and all. Hmm. Slides and swings and. Can we yeah, play on it? 
I very much doubt it. It's got two kids there playing. And Just run them over. They're standing. Tell them to go home. <laughs> they look like they've made of metal. Oh god. <laughs> Is crop destruction on? Yep. Okay. Right. Weeds is not. GPS lines outside the paddock thing. Did anybody want um, lime on? Because I currently have it off. Not particularly. I don't really care either way. I just knew you'd been doing a lot of lime on Alex's server, that's why I was asking. Four. Yeah, well. It's also something you do in real life too, so... Probably not as often as that, but... Yeah, I was about to say, not to the extent that you have to do it on Farming Simulator. Yeah, considering it's only a pH balance, and if your pH is not out of balance, then no more. you don't need to do it. Well, the good news is I finally finished sowing my paddock, after having to cultivate a few rows of it. That's good. Mm. We've got a sunken boat in the lake. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, god. Oh, I thought that was a person swimming in the lake. But it's a duck. <laughs> it just looked like a head and shoulders. But the funny thing was, it didn't. The closer I got to it, it didn't change size. Oh, so even from back in the car, what I was looking, it looked like it was big enough to be like an NPC. Yeah. No, no, just a duck. Alrighty, guys, I'm having an early night, and I might stream a little bit longer tomorrow night if I stream. Hopefully, I'm not too tired. But um, yeah. Thanks for all hanging out. Had a lot of fun. It's been fun using the new wheel, which has been enjoyable. Still getting used to it a bit though, as we can see. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all next time.